Let's game it out. I build an unethical zoo on the moon. Let's game it out. We're back with more Planet Zoo. Let me catch you up. His mic setting. Oh, I want it. Give it to me. I need the bears in my words. Give it to me. His mic setting is so fucking good. And what we've done in this game so far. First, we made a zoo full of giraffe hydras. Jesus tossed a bunch Christ. of animal corpses on top of people. Jesus before Christ. sending them down this rift into hell, never to be seen again. What the fuck? Then we built another zoo with the finer things in life. Like mascots with googly eyes. I and like pizza stands something. that blast dust into your face while you're trying to get your food. <laughs> oh, and also we made like a human prison for animals. Which all oh, said and done great. was kind of comfy. And then we kicked it up a notch and we built an actual zoo city. Complete with the theater, our very own bar, a capital of commerce. And and five the nearby FPS. suburbs. I got some new ideas. So let's again, get thank you. Ah, uh, here we are again. A fresh canvas <laughs> for new insanity. As always, this is the entrance to our zoo. Before even a passing through entrance? these turnstiles, our patrons materialize on these convenient teleporters. You know what I never stopped oh. to look at? Look at this awesome mural back here. This is just the default thing that shows up with every zoo you make. And you know, I feel like it really sets the stage appropriately mm -hmm, if you're running mm -hmm. something this happy. So I feel like <laughs> it's probably our civic duty to change this up a little oh, bit. No. Oh, that's better. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Run while you can. I feel like this accurately Why? describes what to expect when you get to the park. Like <laughs> non-stop googly eyes. eyes. Because that's the look when you've just seen too much. You know what they're probably looking at, though? <laughs> this wall over here. We're going to display with pride how many days it's been since something died. And yes, we're counting today with this zoo with nothing in it. And just for symmetry, we made sure on this side something's going on. This uh, poor bear yes. right here seems to have lost their car inexplicably into this wall. Jesus oh, you know what? Christ. This scene could use a little more realism. So let's go to my favorite tool. Special effects. Looking oh, for one no. of these little nozzles that'll get me smoke. Here we go. And we'll put it right in the engine. Yeah, there we go. It's really selling the scene. And don't Honestly, worry, I look so friend. cool. What we the know fuck? you're appalled and sad, but I bet there's something in here we can use to really accentuate your sadness. Hey, Ooh, like these really? water jets? <laughs> um, that might I be a little too forceful, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay, well, that's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> terrifying. All right, buddy, hold Jesus still. We're going Christ. in for more. This is if, like, the Terminator <laughs> figured out how to cry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. It kind of works. And you also may have what? noticed in the background, we have a sunshine looking appropriately uh, yes. confused. But it might be that the sun is just looking at this. It's the moon dreaming about googly eyes. Don't worry, buddy. One yes. day you'll have some of your own. Okay, let's get started <laughs> on the actual zoo. Rock. People really Oi. come here for one simple reason, <laughs> to see animals. So first we're going to put a couple of these this? nightmares out here. I want to believe if we put enough of these things down, it'll somehow get less creepy than more creepy. I don't think it's <laughs> happening. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. A truly royal dystopian welcome. You know what that uh, Seems yeah. like I would like missing. to be greeted oh, by that. Oh, right. Your ocular implants. <laughs> well, excuse oh, me. No! You'll be complete soon. <laughs> yes, much better. It's like I'm going to the Grand Jesus Ballroom Christ. on the Titanic and everyone's here to see me. Oh, and I also gave <laughs> one and only one of them the ability to breathe. Ruban, thank you. Oh. That's the one to watch out for. What was I making again? A zoo? I always forget that's what we're supposed to do in Planet Zoo. <laughs> so first I added some walkways here that we're going to put uh, to good use. And of those course walkways by that, I mean nothing but water stands. Squirted. Yes. Do you think they'll go here for water? But nothing, they can thank just drink you. all those bear tears for free. In fact, I feel like that's what I'm going to call water from now on. Bear tears. Bear and tears. lastly, how are we supposed to know these are water stations? <laughs> Let's put that right there. Oh, oh hang no. Hang in there, buddy. Don't make those eyes at me. Here, turn that eye frown upside down. <laughs> and we can't forget get these, which we're just gonna sink deep into their eyes, and we'll just aim the tears downwards. Why? <laughs> oh God. Are there other signs I can do this to? It's oh, thank so God cursed. There are. <laughs> yeah, there we go. What do you think, guy bathing in tears? No, you're just gonna leave. It's okay, so I understand. cursed. I we hate it. Bear friend crying, an antelope crying, buffalo crying, wolves looking kind of <laughs> sad, an orangutan, and lastly, cheetah friend just over here, constantly shocked. Okay, refreshments are handled. Now let's focus on the next big thing. All that water, you're gonna what need some genius. restrooms. Here we go, a nice big line of them. Except all these restrooms, closed for cleaning, sorry. So I guess you're just uh, gonna have yes. to hold it unless you're feeling brave. In which case, go ahead and take this secret path over here oh, that'll God, take you to the no. one restroom that's still open. Don't say I didn't warn you, though. There's something weird about this bathroom. But when you gotta go, you gotta go, right? Even if it says it's haunted. Jesus I mean, how Christ. haunted can haunted be, really? Well, the option's there if you want it. Now that we've got all the basic amenities why? taken care of, I think it's time for the main attraction. You said it, my terrified and why do friend. I want to pee it's there? To invite some animals into our zoo. And I'm thinking right there is a great spot. So let's go ahead and set up a barrier. I'm thinking brick this time. I mean, look at all these beautiful traits. Opaque, not climbable, watertight. Okay, in what? you go. Go ahead and make this a little taller. Now we're going to add a window. There we go. What a curiosity that is. Okay, here we go. Our first animal of the zoo. Possibly. Oh, no, there, giraffe friend. How's it going? 
and you comfortable in there? Why do you need it yeah, not to be We're climbable? Not done, though. We gotta make it a little inside. more, shall we say, magical. Hey, bear friend, can you help me out? Help me. That's the spirit. Okay. Have you just turn this way. Yeah, good, good. Hey, do you mind if I adjust your eyeballs <laughs> a little bit? Yeah, look to the sky. <laughs> That's what I like uh, to yes. see. Just provide a little refreshment to our friend there. How do you feel about this, friend? Just have him constantly You'll be, be drowning in water. It's, it's not, not like it's gonna fill up with water or something. Well, I gotta admit, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess it turns out this thing can hold water. Um, <sighs> okay, I know what we need to okay. do. The park isn't even open yet. Day since okay. last animal death. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we all knew this would happen. Just even I didn't expect it quite so soon. Oh, your bones uh, already? How does that even happen? I'm sorry, was this your doing? I see that you're out of place. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Don't ever move from your spot again. So let's try that again. Jesus I have another Christ. idea. Okay, same deal. We're gonna put a little window in it. This time it's a cute little window so that we don't make the mistakes of our ancestors. <laughs> By that, I mean, of course, we're still going to spray water into it. See, there we go. That's what happiness yes. looks like. Do you like being version 2.0? Forced forever to stare at your predecessor? <laughs> well, I think this is enough zoo to open the park what at is least. This Protesters torture? have arrived at my zoo. But why? Is it the part where we just had an animal death? Because I assure you, this number can only go up from here. People seem <laughs> to be enjoying how confusing this whole situation is. You know, I didn't think about this before, but now I feel like they're buying the actual tears of whatever animal these are. <laughs> so I guess orangutan tears are just real popular. And it looks like we have some takers that need to go oh. to the bathroom. Oh. Good luck. Have fun. Well, overall, Enjoy. I call this a general success. And while this is all a good start, I think I have another idea. So everyone enjoy your fresh animal tears. I'm going to make something <laughs> new for you. Okay, so the park's been open for a little while, and in that time, we've built something that zoo patrons really seem to appreciate. I Jesus present to you Christ. the world's most comprehensive animal slides. We're talking six amazing shoots, each with course corresponding animals, and of course each one has a giant <laughs> hole leading to their individual what? slide. You'll know which animals are in which pen based on these handy dandy signs, and of what course you may fuck? recognize these signs as they have a corresponding tier vendor. So Jesus, here's why these people why are fighting so many and they people? get in line to buy their very own animal tiers. Every time someone buys a bottle of tiers of the animal of their choice, that corresponding animal is volunteered to hop down the super fun happy slide of joy. See, doesn't that look fun? Look at that face of happiness. And well, because oh, business yes. is booming. Oh my that god, looks look great. at all the joy being spread. Oh That's my god. so many animals. Don't crowd no! yourselves, there's room for everybody. <laughs> ah, there we go. I'm sure oh, they're god. all fine. Okay, who's the kidder? That's not how this chart <laughs> works. I mean, if nothing else, those animal deaths were donated. At least someone's happy stigma, thank being you. forced to stare at the bones of all their friends. Well, while we have a captive audience, we might as well turn this into an educational moment by utilizing these animals educational boards here. <laughs> here we go. We'll just put this amazing little screen just right over here where the most people can enjoy it. I don't understand. Why can't I tell them to display a bunch of information about bones? That's fine. <laughs> we'll just make our own display. See, can I just put a sign on top of this screen? Not even in a way that makes sense. Sign text. <laughs> Bone pile. Circa 20 minutes ago. There we go. All the information you need. Actually, I put another sign down below. Placed at a height where only children can see it. Consider Everybody yourself dies. educated. Well, this seems like it was a big success. Uh, uh, yes. So let's move on to something even more riveting. Like this giraffe Beautiful. friend just hanging out right here. Now you might be what? wondering what this guy's doing up here. You see, when they're ready to make a plunge, they're gonna go down this chute, which is gonna bounce them anywhere to the left, center, or right. We don't know where he's gonna go, but there's a couple of targets he can hit. If they're lucky, they're gonna end up in this habitat right what here. Of course, if they end up falling to the left, they're gonna be dropped into this beautiful child daycare. Or if they end up going too far to the right, they're gonna be deposited into this beautiful build-your-own stuffed animal emporium. Very popular with the kids right now. So let's uh... do this and see where we land. Okay, giraffe friend, you ready to go? Too late. No takesies backsies. Okay, going down the shit. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, there you go, buddy. Okay, where's this thing gonna take you? The Looks corpse. like we're dropping to the left, then probably to the right. Oh, nope. Looks like he's getting sucked to the left again. Well, I think I know where this is going. Hey, kids, clear a path. Hey, I warned you. Let's give you one giraffe. So far, you're in the lead. What Round the two, fuck? let's go. Got a strong entrance, leading to a beautiful drop. Oh, you know, I think I know what this is gonna be. Oh my god, giraffe friend, what's happening to your neck? Well, I know where you're going anyway. Oh, no. oh, come on, kids. I'm sure you saw it coming. The double this time. giraffe. That's two giraffes for you. Final round. It let's is see how curse. this one goes. Not gonna lie, if every single time ended up in the daycare, that's a win for us. Hey, kids, <laughs> you get enough yet? First prize. Oh, well, that was what fun. What the fuck? Oh, what now? Why is everyone running? Uh, bear friend, why are you standing out here? And what happened to your eyes? 
Uh... Ah, oh, crap. I've seen Terminator. That doesn't seem good. Well, uh... at least the rest of you are in standby mode. Uh-oh. Yes, um... just calmly make your way to the exits. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh, hey. Well, at least you're still okay, right? <laughs> Okay, I will admit that's not a great sign. Maybe they just became self-aware to love us, right? I don't get it. Are you telling what me the there was fuck? consequences to our actions? Well, luckily, it seems to be like Five Nights at Freddy's where stuff doesn't move unless you're not looking at it. Isn't that right, fellas? Okay, that's a little uh. too close for comfort. Luckily, I've got just the contingency <laughs> plan to deal with this. A little something I've been keeping under wraps for emergencies only. Yep, it's what you think it is. Modeled after the what? Saturn V rocket that took us to the moon. It's our beautiful ticket out of here. Uh -oh. She's enjoying this way too to much! All we need now is our pilot. Everybody say hello to Commander Grace. Hey, Grace, let's pick up the pace, okay? Time is not exactly on our side. Maybe get to work on that startup sequence, okay? Grace, did you hear me? Commander, does this thing work? <laughs> no, Grace, I don't want to tell you what to do. Actually, no, Grace? I really do want to tell you what to do. But you might want to start that pre-sequence. Because there's like a thing happening out here, and I don't know how much longer you've got. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Holy shit, the bear is still This video must have been an insane amount of work. Holy shit, dude! Well, no Grace, I way. think we've really done it this time. If my calculations are correct, this appears to be the moon. And I don't know if we get to leave this. Although, you know, plenty of fresh ground, no bear terminators in sight. I think this might have real zoo potential. Because you know what they oh, always God. say when you accidentally <laughs> land on the moon, go ahead and make moon pies. So obviously for our moon zoo, we're going to need a place to put the animals. So first, let's establish some moon hallways. There we go. These <laughs> ones go right to the shuttle, which we're going to connect to these beautiful moon domes I've made. Oh, and from here, we're just going to... To have so much moon fun. See, now we're talking. Moon give me a fun. second to put some stuff down and then I'll give you the grand tour. Is everything just moon? Five moon hours. All right, it's time for a moon tour. First off, kudos to Grace, who somehow managed to uplift this entire rocket. <laughs> Upon leaving the rocket, you're going to want to head down to the moon hub, where we have an array of options to decide what we want to do next. Let's start here. Okay, real talk, though, this isn't the bathroom. This is actually just Grace's quarters. I just <laughs> thought putting one of these signs would be funny. Not like it matters. Grace spends most of her time on the ship. So I guess what I'm trying to say is this is the bathroom. Next up, we have this just cool joke that I've labeled fun. I mean, I'm sure it's fun for some one, but really, it's just a giant maze. Mostly, I just want to give Grace something to get lost in. And really, what kind of zoo would it be if there wasn't a moon maze? On the other hand, it does serve a purpose, because as you see, as the it's sun goes so down, light. and we get to enjoy these beautiful negative 200 degree nights here on the moon, and as pretty as our moon base is, I just can't help but wonder, are we alone on the moon? Or are there moon goblins? You don't know. There might be. What so all I'm fuck? saying is it's good to have a backup plan, which is why if you manage to get through the maze over here, there's actually a way back onto the ship. But you know, I'm sure it won't come to that. I mean, moon goblins aren't real, right? <laughs> anyway, after you've had your fun, Fucking head on over to this goblins. mystery we discovered on the moon. Nothing all that exciting. I'm sure it's your basic moon mystery. Just this weird bottomless pit that I can't convince Grace to go into yet. I mean, I'm not going down yet? there. If there's moon goblins, that's where they live. And for the final leg on our journey, the zoo. We've spared no expense as we built this beautiful moon menagerie, <laughs> complete with high ceilings, pressurized atmosphere moon, just like on Earth, and a lot of space for our animals to ah! roam around in. And as you can see, I'm we haven't a placed moon the animals. Yeah, I figured we could do that together. As far as I know, this is all the animals we had on the ship. To my knowledge, they're also all giraffes, because of course they are. <laughs> Can't wait to try out our moon zoo. This is so exciting. Behold! Oh no, what's happening? Uh, you guys okay? I mean, you were inside uh, the dome. What happened? Hey, Grace, you let oxygen in here, right? Grace, that kills people. You were supposed to push the big green button that says oxygen. All right, well, I guess we got to deal with this mess uh, now. So I'm pretty sure these aren't going to decompose here on the moon. So we're going to do the next best thing. Dump them in a giant crater. All right, come on, everybody. Let's take a little trip what outside. The fuck? Oh, see, that's the spirit. You're all covered in moon dust already. And <laughs> in you go. A nice, neat little pile. It's going to be a real treasure for you. future generations to find. No! Good night, you beautiful beasts. Well, let's go ahead and call that a successful failure. Do we have any more no! animals we can try this on now? Oh, we got one left? Hey, that was so nice of you to bring it down for us. Thanks for the special moon delivery. Good to see her out and about. This anyway, is animal we're, we're... Idea. Return to sender. Return to sender. Grace, did you even check the um, package? Hey, Grace, are you back on the ship? 
I'm gonna assume that's a no. Yep, get going, Grace. Initiate Operation Run for Fun. And by fun, I mean for your life. And don't stop until you reach the rocket. Also, I don't want to play the blame game or anything, but this is totally your fault. Well, Grace, looks like we're two for two. I guess the moon belongs Jesus to the bears Christ. now. Well, that was a trip and a half. I guess we have no choice but to keep going for more crazy space adventures. From what I can tell, at least this time, we don't have any stowaways. Speaking of stowaways, you might be wondering, where did Grace go? Well, I made a little pit stop and dropped her off. I'm sure she'll be fine. So I think we're gonna leave it there for now. Everyone pour one out for Grace, who's gonna die on the surface of Mars, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, yes. Grace having the time of her life. Hey,